Olivia Saez. We're gonna make a healthy crustless version of a spinach and cheese quiche. And I bet you're thinking that every quiche that you'll eat is fattening, right? Lots of heavy cream, your eggs, cheese, bacon, it's super fattening. But actually, we're gonna make a healthy version today. So we're always going to start with six eggs. It's going to be perfectly fitting into about a nine inch pie plate. We're also going to save on a few calories by using a, a crustless version. So we don't have to have all the bread and the gluten that would be an issue for some of you viewers out there. So we'll start with our six eggs and we'll put in a half a cup of skim milk or a low fat milk. You really want to make sure that you have a kind of fat element to your quiche filling, so the milk is really important. So we'll just take a wire whisk and we'll mix that together. And in that we'll add a half of a teaspoon of a salt and pepper blend, which is one part salt and two parts pepper. We'll also mix in an eighth of a teaspoon of coriander. If you don't care for coriander, you can use nutmeg, but I love the zesty, lemony uh, taste that comes with coriander. So this is gonna be our base for our quiche custard, if you will. It's not really as custardy because we're not using heavy cream. And we'll go ahead and make sure that your pan is lined with some sort of um, cooking spray or non-fat oil, just to make sure that your quiche actually comes out of the dish when you're finished cooking. And you'll go ahead and you'll pour it right into your pan. To this, then you will add your fillings. And since we're using spinach and cheese, we're going to use a fresh spinach that you saute lightly. You don't have to thoroughly cook it. It will continue to cook as you uh, cook it in the oven. So we'll go ahead and place this in our quiche filling. Okay. And then our cheese is going to be a part skim cheese. So you're using something much lower fat. If you don't want to use cheese at all, that's fine too. Um, but if you do use a part skim cheese, it will definitely make it a little bit he healthier for you. You want to use probably about a half a cup if you like it to be a little bit cheesier, you can use a whole cup. I like it really cheesy. And you're all set. This will go into a 350 degree oven for about 15 to 20 minutes. The skim milk sometimes will uh, take a little bit longer to cook. So if you need to cook it a little bit longer, add an extra 10 minutes. And here we are. We have our finished, crustless, healthier version of a spinach and cheese quiche. We've used a part skim cheese. And as you can see, the consistency here, it bounces back very, very lightly, and it's nice and fresh. You can go ahead and put this in the refrigerator and save it for tomorrow, or enjoy it for lunch today. And I've made a nice little fresh tomato salad to go with it on the side. Mm -hmm.